Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of the Gaming Testament. Basically, we're a gameplay channel, and this is the first episode in our Guild Wars 2 series. There are four of us, but in this series, it's just me, Sam, and Morgan. Hello. And basically, this first episode is all about the character creation process. Now, um, I've this is pretty much my first time playing on Guild Wars 2, though Morgan yeah. does actually have the game. Yeah, I've um, got a level 18 known ranger, so I know what I'm talking about, don't worry. I've, I've the only noob here is Sam. <laughs> I've watched a few YouTube videos and the game seems pretty legit. So, as you can see, there's five series, to, yeah, five series, five species to choose from. There's the Char, um, the Human, the Norn, who are like humans on steroids, um, the Asura, and the Silvari. Um, I think for this video, we should probably go with the Norn, because they seem the most badass out of the yeah. few series. Um, the Char, those. Yeah. yeah. They've got a Cats. bit. Yeah, their face look a bit stupid there. Com com you'd expect to be a bit more fierce. Yeah, you haven't seen the Asura. Mm. Yeah, freaky. Yeah. Um, as you can see, there's four classes to choose from. Eight classes. Eight classes, sorry. Um, as you can see, this is the Ranger, the Elementalus, the Warrior, which is probably the most common class you get from a Norn, um, a Necromancer, um, a Guardian, a Thief. An engineer and a mesmer. Um, I think we should probably go for a guardian on this one, because um, or maybe a, uh, or a warrior. Go for a guardian. Okay, I'd so we we'll go for a guardian. So then you go to the force that this is prob Guild Wars Two is probably the most advanced customization game out at the moment. Com in regard compare in comparison to I suppose Star Wars: The Old Republic or World of Warcraft. Um, it's a lot more advanced, so you can adjust the height. Um, and then there's the physique. Of course, we don't want. There's I see there's normal, a bit more normal, muscly, fat, skinny. So we're gonna go for muscly. Um, yeah, that, that seems okay. Mm. It's, it's more um, press yeah. um, press the uh, um, little helmet thing above body features. That hides their clothes. Then you can see oh, the yes. and stuff. I think those seem okay for our character, and then for head options. Now, of course, there's a very not that many different faces, but um, as you can see, there's the skin color tog toggle or toggle 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 down here. Um, let's see. So you can go as pale as this and as dark as that. I think probably go in between. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that face looks quite cool. This haircut actually suits him. I think we should probably stick with that. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a different. There's more options though. Maybe yeah. So just flick through just so you can see the various options. Go with T jeans color for that. And then f in regards to facial hair, no, I, th I think he looked quite cool with the beard. Yeah. I've forgotten see. which beard he had now. Um, as you can see, the hair, hair and beards very realistic, much like Star Wars: The Old Republic on um, Guild Wars 2. I think I'm gonna go with this one. The face details. You may as well just leave all that same to be yeah. honest. But of course, you know, you can customize it quite a lot. So it's very, very advanced. Um, eye color, might go for that because that looks pretty cool. Then That's nose. The nose Shape. exactly the same. You can adjust the nose. <laughs> and um, then, of course, on mouth, adjust the upper lip. I think it looks quite cool with his upper lip down a bit. And then chin and jaw, chin length. Uh, goes out, forward, out, forward, out, forward, out, forward, out. You could keep it, maybe set, maybe stick it out. No, it's sticking in. Um, armor dies. Uh, this is one of my favourite parts of the customization on Guild Wars 2 because the size of the shoulder pads. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't know of any other MMOs really. I, I maybe World of Warcraft does. I, I never really played it. But you can adjust the colour of the armor. Um, to start with. To start with, of course, you yeah. Can. I mean, on Lord of the Rings Online, you can buy dyes. I think T Jean seems pretty cool for that color, and then for that, yeah, Avenue seems quite cool. And then that looks quite maybe rad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Avenue. There's more. Then, yeah, there's more. Yeah, than I know. Other. Lower. Um, you guys keep them the same. So yeah, and then that looks quite nice. Well, that's Avenue. Yeah, and then boot. Oh, not boots. Footwear. Exactly the same. And then, and then shoulders. There's massive shoulder pads that look a bit ridiculous. 
Um, seems legit. So yeah, this is the character in regards to appearance then. So we're halfway through the character customization now. As a symbol of my dedication I wear, now you can get the Fanatic's Pauldrons, the Visionary's Helm, or the Conqueror's Pauldrons. I, I think, think the Fanatic pull, Fanatic's Pauldrons yeah. look a bit more badass to be yeah. honest. And then if you go on to the sixth page, trouble may follow me, but I use my <laughs> to overcome it. There's dignity, uh, ferocity, or charm. I think I'm going to go for dignity. Seems a bit more Nornish than the rest of them. Charm seems a bit, a little bit sad. Uh, my most important quality is that I have the necessary guard the mists. No. I'm not sure if that... Oh, intu intuition to guard the mists. I was going to say guard the mists doesn't make sense. Um, cunning to protect the spirits or strength to defeat ancient foes. I'm going to go for... So yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So, page eight. At a recent celebrity mood held in Holbrack, I got in a fight, lost an heirloom, or black. Oh God, no. Or blacked out. I'm gonna go for lost an heirloom. Uh, seems a bit more like our character. If we move on to page nine, when I was still a kid, I had a vision. A spirit of the wild spoke to me and offered its guardship. Guardship. That's where it was. Now, there's raven, wolf, snow leopard, or bear. Uh, I'm gonna go for wolf on this guy. And then, though trouble may follow me, I overcome it with dignity. Wolf, my spirit, die, teaches that there's time for violence and a time for peace. I work hard to maintain my physical strength and. What the hell Prowess. is that word? <laughs> and yeah, in the past I have been foolish. I wagered Rome. Rome. Rome case. Rome case. There's no accent on no. the E. An ancestral heirloom with magical properties on a test of strength. I was overconfident, but I'm determined to get it back. I'm a guardian, I with the pauldrons, and bear the burden and loyalties of a fanatic. This yeah, is my story. A, that's just basically a summary of uh, all the ans questions you answered. Yeah, uh, the, and then when it comes to the cinematic and the next episode, that differs on how you answered your questions. So, with a badass like this guy, there's only one real suitable name. Uh, we've been thinking about this for a while. Mr. Boombastic. Boombastic. If someone's taken this now, I'm going to cry. Oh, oh my god. Well, uh, I thought so. Mm. Don't know if I spelt his name there correctly. Goodness sake. Probably Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, it's a reserved Gilbert <laughs> character. Right, so somewhere there is a computer controlled character called Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, mm, uh, Probably taken, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Just make out a name now. I'm getting desperate here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, Jonah Jameson. Yeah, but un okay, unfortunately, so we'll do the cinematic in the next episode. No, do the cinematic now. Okay, we'll do the cinematic now, but due to X Fire, which is a generally good recording yeah. software, actually, can't record the voice, and um, we can we could only record the voices of our commentary, yeah. but not sound of the game. But luckily, you know, you've got subtitles here. Yeah, so you know, read that. So yeah, um, well, as this cinematic plays through, I suppose. Thank you for watching the first episode. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're going to be boosting up our views by refreshing the page a few times and giving it a couple of likes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as you can see the how the cinematic differs it's good. due it's to like the animal that you've chosen, the questions you answered. So it's, it's um, more like, I suppose, Star Wars The Old Republic. The choices you make differ your storyline. Yeah, your storyline changes very much. But I like the intro cinematic because um, it's, not re it's not just like a video, like the conversations yeah. and gameplay is actually like... Proper Concept, artistic, it's proper, concept it's, art style. Yeah, it's concept yeah. art, it's moving, I think that's really good, it's, it's yeah. very different. I like that about Google's too, it's a really different game, it's not just like all the other MMOs. And there he is, there is Jonah Jameson, yeah. Parker, get me pictures of Spider-Man by tomorrow. That's why he's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, let's presume those are the Northern Lights of Guild Wars 2, or the Seven Lights, no need to be discriminatory there. So, Beer. And yeah, so it's pretty strong. Maybe guy. we should have re read them out, read out the uh, subtitles in the in the Nornish way. I know how to do it. <laughs> uh, and then here's some sexy Norns. Well, there's that guy. And then, as you can see, there's a wolf. 
which is due to our choice of... No, 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 that's her, that's her oh, pet, that's her pet. Oh, that's her pet. Noob moment. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, coming to the end of this cinematic, coming to the end of this episode, um, yet again, thank you for watching. Um, leave us a like or dislike. Well, I hope, most certainly hope you wouldn't dislike this video. Yeah. And um, give us a subscribe. Yeah, so there'll be many more. We're going to do loads of different games. Lord of the Rings Online. Yeah. Um, Star Wars Old Republic on Free to Play comes out because we chucked our membership yeah. out the window to get Guild Wars 2. Yeah. Um, you know, loads of games. But yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you hopefully in the second Guild Wars 2 episode or if we're feeling fancy, another game. See ya. Bye. Bye.